Okay, I haven't made a video in quite a while, so I thought I'd make one today. I wanted the ROPS from my X758, but like most of you probably know, they don't make a ROPS for the X758. But they do make a ROPS for the 900 series, but they're not sold in America. They're only sold overseas. But they're made in America. And come to find out through a little research, the X900 series is the exact same physical size in detail, everything about it, as the X700 series. So, you know, in other words, the ROPS bar made for that will fit on mine. And it does, as you can see. They're not cheap. It'll cost you anywhere between $1,500 and $2,000, depending on the taxes you got to pay and what the market is on metal right now. It's been varying every day also in price. Some people got them for like $1,000 just a year ago. I ended up not having to pay sales tax on mine because my local John Deere dealer got it for me. And they had other stuff shipped with it, so I didn't have to pay tax, and it still cost me $1,650. And uh, it's a lot of money, I know, but I just kind of wanted it. And uh, anyway, I'm going to go around now and explain a little more about it. It come in a big wooden crate made out of 4x4s, four and it was just a lot of wood. And it sat on there, the shipping weight was 188 pounds. Well, I figured probably 30 some of that was the wood, because it was a lot of wood. But the ROPS bar here itself, I'm guessing is 150 pounds. Everything on it is quarter inch wall. I mean, it, it's heavy. And it came assembled with the exception of this connecting bar here, that's a separate part number, and the replacement for this underneath here, which is a separate number. The bottom part, you know, equal to this one is around 75 bucks. This plate is also around 75 bucks. And the ROPS bar itself, I think, was 13, 1400. And uh, it came shipped with this all connected to this. So I took this section off, and then I had the two runners here. And they're fairly heavy. And each one of these runners comes solid, complete, all the way down in one piece all the way down to the bottom here and it turns in like this starts here this ROPS side comes all the way down turns and comes in about two inches so that's the new one of these is shorter than this and it's only the bottom part and they bolt together about here and here so as a result of that it's very solid because the whole side here from way back here all the way up and around a few things and up is mirrored to the side of your frame. Mirror is in every hole, if you went and looked at yours here, every hole, including the four that hold the rock shaft here, and all the other holes, they line up perfectly, including a couple of oval shaped ones. They're all matched up perfectly. And there's a little offset right here in the side of your frame. This even follows that offset. Now the original frame is only eighth inch thick here, where the ROPS plate is quarter inch thick. And when them two sandwich together, you can pick the amount of bolt holes you want to use. I use six or eight on each side. I could have used even more. But it's really beefy. And then uh, when you put this piece in between here, these are five eighths by four inch long bolts. You tighten up three on each side. I mean, that whole thing is really solid. So solid that if you hook the cable on here to a winch or a pickup truck or anything and pull here, I know the front end would come off the ground. That's how solid it all is. Or if you pushed hard enough or pulled hard enough here, you could tip the tractor on its side. As you can see, it sits really solidly attached. I originally was going to make my own wraps. I was going to buy one from uh, one of these zero turns. You know, there's a number of brands. All I would have had to do is find one where the uh, width was about the same as here. And then I would have made this part from here on down. And I had things in mind, but it never would have matched how solid this is. And uh, this ROPS comes where, well, like probably all of them, I've never had one before, but when you swing this to the upper position, this would kind of be at an angle like that. 
Or there's another one here, maybe an angle like this. There's a little rubber tip on here, a little rubber tab. You can flip a dome where it butts up against here and it's kind of hanging at this angle. I just kind of randomly picked this up here because of this. This is made by Titan. Uh, Titan. It's a three foot, it's three foot wide and 17 inches deep and six inches high and the screen mesh is you know, really solid. And the whole bottom is all screen mesh. You can put a lot of stuff in here. I see a lot of people on YouTube uh, bolting toolboxes to the side and back side of the ROPs. Well, if you just did this, you can put a toolbox in here and many other things as well. I mean, there's no limit. You could put a chainsaw in here, gas cans. I just got a couple of these Harbor Freight knee pads in here and all. A pack of uh, rubber gloves and some other gloves. I'm screwing around out in the yard, kneeling in the rock a lot and doing some landscaping. and It's handy for that. I'm sure I'll have this on here a lot of the time. It was very easy to do. This hole was already here in the top part of the rocks. I don't like drilling a lot of holes unless I have to. But when I take this off in a little bit, I'll show you. I drilled one quarter 20, capped a quarter 20 hole here, and another one here to put a bar on I got here. And I got it, so this is a really easy to on and off, really easy. This particular deal here, maybe you recognize it already. This is a uh, any trailer, bolt trailer, or any trailer, it's a safety chain. They come with this hook on here. And it was four lengths longer, I cut four lengths off. This little chrome piece right here is just a cover plate from a big block Chevy I had. I took the uh, mechanical fuel pump off, so you had to put a blocking plate on it. And I went to an electric fuel pump. And that's all this is, and it just happened to work off. These two holes were already in the plate. That's all it mounts on the motor. So I just, you know, drilled a couple holes here and mounted that. And then I drilled the top hole in here. This is just a little shackle I bought. Matches up to the chain, it all looks good. And it does this. It, you can just uh, pull that out of there. I'm just using the hole that was there. On the back side here, I got a couple of pieces of metal. I just bent up in a break. Just comes over, down, and over again. Bolted them on here, and then I got one pin here. I'm going to show you how easy this is to take off. I pull a pin out here, pull another pin out here, kind of raise it a little, take this off, and there it is. And it goes back in really easy too. I just slide them in there and just reverse process. But uh, when you take it off, and these are the toolboxes I need, I like things that are easy on and off. They do the same thing. And this weight bar stays on for me year round. I don't have any other attachments that I need a quick hitch for or any of that. I mean, everything I have goes into this. I've got other videos showing that. So these stay on pretty much all the time. Because the amount of stuff I do in the loader doesn't really require suitcase weights, but I do put them on when I use it usually. I've got eight of them right here. Eight of them fit right on that. But, uh, yeah, I thought I'd make more use out of the ROPs than just the ROPs. And, you know, you can put this where it should be at any given time. But I kind of picked that position to do what I do with this. I'm going to get in there. Is that part? Is that? There's one pin. There's the other pin, now everything's back on. And it's not in the way of anything. It uh, doesn't hang back any further than them toolboxes do, which are on there all the time. And uh, I happen to have the loader on right now. This is not equal to the John Deere loader, but it's a good little loader, and the welds on it are phenomenal. This is really a beefy little loader. It only goes up about four and a half feet, but you can easily dump with it. 
I use it a lot. It, it works really well. But uh, anyway, that's about all. Basket. Wraps basket, I'll call it. Talk to you later.